Yo, what's up? For the past five years now, the only thing I've done on my YouTube channel is talk about bad YouTubers. It sounds dumb, I know, right? But during these five years, I've made hundreds of videos and watched thousands of horrible YouTubers. I got a comment on my channel the other day from this random guy, and uh, he said, hey DJ, which bad YouTuber do you hate the most? Right after I read that, I thought of one guy. His name is Owen. You might recognize this Owen dude if I show you his awesome videos. Like, check this one out. Like the video, unsubscribe right now, or this fight will be in your mouth when you wake up. Isn't that just amazing content? This Owen kid was known for making some pretty messed up videos. He was using Charlie D'Amelio for views, just making clickbait videos about her for a couple of years. But then he decided to switch it up and use other famous people for views. He was doing that for a couple of years. But one day, he took it too far. This Owen kid uploaded a video that said, Mr. Beast's final goodbye to Technoblade. In the video, Mr. Beast didn't say anything to Technoblade, it was just random Minecraft gameplay. The reason that this was such a big issue was because the YouTuber Technoblade that he was talking about passed away just a few days before this video. A couple days later, it's Owen was clickbaiting his death. As most of you probably know, I literally sit here and watch bad YouTubers all day. But when I'm done watching them, I have nothing to do. I'm lonely and I'm bored. But that all changed once I started playing Honkai Star Rail. I noticed it was free, so I downloaded it one day and immediately got lost into the huge world because there was so much to do. I battled NPCs that didn't like me, I met characters that were awesome and became friends with them, I explored massive worlds, I found insane rewards, but that's not all. The version 2.0 update just released and they added a brand new world called Panacone, tons of new characters to meet, and so many things to explore. The character I'm most excited about in this newest update is Sparkle. She has a cool red outfit and she looks pretty chill and harmless, but trust me, she's dangerous. Speaking of characters, I just love the fact that there's over 40 characters you can collect and play with, and each of them have their own unique personality and motivations. It's really cool how they all have an important role as you progress through the story of the game too. And don't even get me started on the exploration in this game. There are so many things to find in the huge worlds and so many stories to uncover. The developers are always updating this game, adding more content, and just making the quality of life better for all of the players. And that's just unbeatable. With this type of quality inside of this game, it's crazy to even imagine that it's completely free to download and play. Go ahead and download Honkai Star Rail with the link in the description, and if you use my code, you'll get 50 free Stellar Jades, which is the in-game currency. You're welcome. Clickbaiting Technoblade's death got It's Owen almost 1 million views in under a day. But then, YouTube saw the video, and they cracked down on him really hard. The YouTube community was absolutely enraged at the fact that this Owen guy was profiting off of a YouTuber's death and they wanted YouTube to delete this video as soon as they could. And uh, YouTube decided to do way more to this Owen kid. They terminated his 3 million subscriber channel for good. Once he realized that his channel was terminated, it's Owen posted on Twitter and he said, my YouTube channel with 3.5 million subscribers just got terminated. I don't know what to do, I'm so sad. YouTube ended up replying back to him on Twitter and they said they did it for a reason and that he will not be able to get his channel back. He will also never be able to make or use another YouTube channel again. And just like that, It's Owen disappeared for good. As the months went by, people were starting to wonder what this Owen kid was doing with his life now. I mean, his whole job for the past couple of years was just clickbaiting and using people for views on YouTube, but now he couldn't do that because he got fully banned. I mean, YouTube even said that he would never be able to access a YouTube account again or even create a new one. But guess what? You're not gonna believe me, but I found him. This Owen dude has a YouTube channel that he still makes videos on. Matter of fact, let me just tell you now, he has two YouTube channels that I found. This guy thought that nobody was gonna find him, huh? Well, look at this. The other day, I was hanging out in my room, I was kind of bored, so I decided to watch some YouTube. As I was scrolling through the videos, uh, for some reason, a very weird video popped up. Jordan fell off the roller coaster? What? Who is Jordan? 
I decided to click on this video just to see what this even was. I was so confused as to why this even popped up on my feed. Joel D'Amato went on this insane slingshot ride and you won't believe what happened. This video was just a bunch of stupid clips of people at amusement parks. I literally got clickbaited. Nobody ended up falling off a roller coaster like the thumbnail and title said. I decided to go to this person's channel to see their other videos. I was kind of mad that I got clickbaited. I wanted to see who it was. This channel is called Kingaro or something like that. The content on this Kingaro channel is just scummy. It's just clickbait absolutely everywhere. I decided to watch one more video from this channel just for fun and I almost pooped my pants. I'm not kidding. Jordan and Salish Matter started getting so emotional after saving this dog's life. I clicked on a random video on his channel, I watched a few seconds of it, and then I instantly realized something. This dude, this King Arrow dude, sounds very similar to It's Owen. This is Mr. Beast's final goodbye to Technoblade and their last time playing Minecraft together. Okay, now that you've heard that, listen to this King Arrow guy talk. Jordan and Salish Matter started getting so emotional after saving this dog's life. They sound exactly the same. There's no way that this is that it's Owen Kid though. I mean, YouTube literally said he wouldn't be able to use another YouTube channel in that tweet that they made, right? You remember that? I was really confused and I didn't really know what to do. So I decided to go to the other videos on this channel and, you know, read the comments, see if anybody was calling him out, see if anybody was saying, hey, you're It's Owen. Once I got to the comment section, there was literally nothing. It was just a bunch of brain dead kids commenting their usual gibberish. Since nobody else thought it was him, I just decided to forget about it. That was until yesterday night. As many of you probably already know, I read my comments. Uh, a lot of people don't believe me, but yes, I read my comments. And as I was reading my comments, there were the usual comments, like the little Timmy's saying, hey, stop hating on my favorite YouTuber. But then I noticed a comment that caught my eye. Somebody said that they found It's Owen's other channel, and the channel name was Lordzy. When I first read this comment, I didn't really believe him. I thought he was just chatting. I thought it was a stupid little kid. I decided to go check out the channel anyway, just to make sure. And right when I got there, I noticed that this channel was live streaming. If this actually was It's Owen, like that dude told me, then I could talk to him right here. He's literally live streaming. I honestly can't tell you what I expected to see when I clicked on this live stream, but I definitely didn't expect this. But every single person watching the stream right now, smash a like on the stream in three, two, one. Everyone smash a like on the stream right now. And also subscribe to the channel. I saw a guy giving out free Robux, which is obviously fake, but it was him. It sounded like him. It, it, it looked like him. This is, it's Owen. Baiting little kids into clicking on his link in the description and making them think that they're gonna win a prize and win Robux? This was the YouTuber that got terminated right in front of me. It honestly didn't even feel real to me. I was so confused. I mean, I thought that he wasn't supposed to have a YouTube channel. I was genuinely tweaking. I didn't know what to do. So I decided to go back to his channel and look at some of his videos just to see if this was actually him. I ended up clicking on his most recent video and wow, this is actually him. Two, one, let's check it. Oh my gosh. The this is It's Owen, but the weird thing is, nobody in the comment section of this video is calling him out. There's a bunch of kids just saying hi, there's a bunch of kids who comment their name, there's a bunch of kids who are begging for Robux. Nobody knows that this is him. Little did I know though, this story was about to get a lot weirder. I noticed that the pinned comment on this video says, it's still working. Go to the video here. If you click on this link, it takes you to a video of a little boy talking about how to get Robux. What? It's free in under five minutes. Just click the link in the pinned comment of this video and follow all the steps on the website. Then go back to your Roblox account and you will have over 10,000 Robux. Okay, well, I thought it was a little boy at first, but this person has nails and like a ring on. Uh, wait, hold on. Is this It's Owen's girlfriend? She sounds just like him. Wait. Is he promoting his girlfriend's YouTube channel? I could not believe what I was seeing. I decided to explore his weirdo girlfriend's YouTube channel and turns out there's only one other video on her channel. It's a video of this girl just yapping about this free Robux link that's in the description. We all know this is fake. She's just trying to bait kids into clicking on this link so they can make a bunch of money. But there's only two videos on this channel, but both of these videos have hundreds of thousands of views. But hold on, 
How is this It's Owen dude still uploading videos to these channels? How is he still on YouTube? Wasn't he supposed to be permanently banned? Isn't that what YouTube said in that tweet? I'm pretty sure I remember they said he wasn't going to be able to make or access another YouTube channel. This really doesn't make sense, but I think I know what's going on here. So, It's Owen's channel got banned in 2022. That was when Technoblade passed away. That was when all that drama happened, when his channel got deleted. 2022, right? YouTube said that he was banned and he was not going to be able to create any new YouTube channels. If we go to that King Arrow channel, the first one that I found, it says that the channel was created in 2008. If we go to the other channel, Lord Z, it says that that channel was created in 2020. I honestly think that It's Owen paid somebody for their YouTube channel since he wasn't able to create his own one, and then he turned it into the crappy content-filled channel that it is now. And I haven't even mentioned his girlfriend's channel. He made his girlfriend make a YouTube channel for him since he can't, and he's teaching her how to clickbait and lie to kids for views and money? That is insane. I remember when It's Owen used to own another channel. That channel was called Oboat. I made a video about that channel a long time ago, but knowing him, these two channels I found aren't the only ones he has. He made the names of these channels King Arrow and Lordzy, thinking that nobody would notice that it was him. But guess what? We found you, buddy. I honestly have no idea what YouTube is going to do when they realize that this Owen kid is still on the platform after they said he wasn't allowed to be on the platform. And the thing is, this Owen kid didn't come back to YouTube and start making good videos. He didn't come back to YouTube and give millions of dollars to homeless people. He came back to YouTube and decided he wanted to make bad content for kids. He decided he wanted to scam a bunch of kids. Once YouTube finds out, bro, I guarantee you, they are going to fully ban this guy. Owen will be gone for good. Spread the word about him. He needs to go. I actually made a video about this Owen Kids channel like five years ago. It's my most popular video ever. Click right here if you want to see that. So much bad content in that video. After I made that video, I wanted to throw up. Click that video if you want to see that. Spread the word about this guy. Peace out.